When working with PowerShell, you might sometimes find that you want to remove a module from your current session, or delete it entirely from your computer. Let's have a look at how to do both of those things directly from within PowerShell. So I've already installed the Posh RS job module, and I'll explicitly import it into my current session. And just to show that this module is working, I'll quickly use it to ping four DNS servers out on the internet. I can see where this module is installed, and that it's imported into my current session by running get module and specifying its name. If I go ahead and remove this module, specifying that I want to remove it from my current session, and then rerun get module, I can see that the module's details are no longer returned, meaning that it's not in my current session. However, if I run get module with the list available flag, I can see that it is still installed on my computer, and note that it's under the program files directory. If I want to remove this module from my PC, I have to be running an administrative session of PowerShell, and you'll note that my IC session is flagged as administrator. So if I go ahead and run uninstall module, the module is removed from my PC, and if I run get module with the list available flag again, I get no results, telling me that this has been successfully removed. Now I'll head over to a non-elevated PowerShell session, and we'll have a look at what happens when I do try and remove a module that's in my program files directory. So we'll have a look at this import Excel module. And note I'm using the list available flag, as it's not currently imported into my session. And you'll see that it's under my program files directory. If I go to uninstall this module, I get an error stating that I need administrator rights in order to remove it from this location. However, if I look at another module, and in this example I'm using burnt toast, you can see that this module is installed under my documents folder. And if I go to uninstall this one, the command completes successfully. And I'll run get module again just to confirm that the module has been uninstalled. So I was able to uninstall that module because I had the required access to my documents folder. So that's how you can remove and uninstall modules. Thank you for watching.